The arrival of spring is often celebrated by outdoorsmen and women with fishing and turkey hunting. And there are very few places in the country that you can pair saltwater fishing with turkey hunting. The diverse landscapes found in Oregon make it one of the only states where you can hunt Rio Grande turkey in the morning and in the afternoon enjoy the beautiful sandy beaches casting a line into the surf while fishing for sea perch. The combination lets us escape the ordinary and put the spin of adventure to traditional turkey hunting. This is like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Even those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. You're looking at the face. <laughs> To be in this moment right now is like it's pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> Every year I go to Southern Oregon where the turkey populations are flourishing so that I can hunt with my longtime friend, Rob Stamp. His farm is just a short drive from my family that lives on the Oregon coast, making it the perfect location to not only hunt for turkeys, but to also go fishing with my family. It's the first afternoon of our annual turkey hunt. Yes, it is. I just keep coming back. I can't get rid of you. <laughs> what have you been seeing for birds so far this year? Quite a bit. There's been a lot of good toms this year. I got the decoys nice and close. They're set at eight yards. Uh, so if there's a tom that does kind of hang up, hopefully he'll still be within full range. range exactly. The first morning sit turned up a couple of Jake birds, but not the long beard that I was hoping for. After the Jakes lost interest and moved on, it was evident there wasn't a Tom nearby. So I traded my bow in for my fishing rod and made my way to my grandparents' house to quickly say hi before meeting my uncle and cousin for an afternoon of surf perch fishing. This is a sand anchor. When you cast it out there, it stabs into the sand. When you reel it in, these will split back and let you reel them. And then when you reset them, you hold them down like this and these beads are here. Put them into these little grooves. These are Berkeley gulp alive sand worms. Little tail. Tail gets chewed off, you're done fishing. We're fishing the Pacific Ocean on the Oregon coast and we're perch fishing today and I have never done this before. And literally, you're dropping your line in the sand and there's a sand drag doing? that sets your rig Dang. to the bottom of the sand floor. And you sit and wait no. for these perch to come in and, and bite your line and... My uncle just caught one. <laughs> well, we might have him yet. We don't know, he's coming in if he is. We might have got nothing. Oh, we got a baby. Oh, 
you got a little one. We're going to get some good luck here by turning him loose. Anyways, my uncle just caught one. It's the first small one of the day, but it is a fish, which is awesome. I'm so fortunate to have family that does such awesome things that I can join them on. That's it. That's a redfin perch, yep. On a bright sunny day, the Oregon coast is one of the most beautiful places on earth. With expansive sandy beaches, mountainous evergreen forest, jagged cliffs, and historic lighthouses. Even when the fishing is slow, the joy found in casting a line into the deepest waters in the world with your family cannot be beat. comes a bunch of turkeys. Long beard in the front. There's at least one long beard in there. Oh, he's coming super fast. Get ready. The keen eyes of the turkey make hunting them a challenge, especially when it comes to getting a tom within bow range. We left the blind to give these ones a break, and I wanted another chance to catch a sea perch. I got one! Just keep walking back! Nice one! Yeah! Got my first sea perch. Really pretty fish. It's kind of pink on the fins here. Uh, beautiful. There's so many opportunities in Oregon as a sportsman to be able to go from turkey hunting and driving an hour and a half and casting out into the Pacific Ocean to fish for sea perch is really a dream come true. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. When you think of traditional turkey hunting, nobody thinks of mixing it with fishing out of the ocean and it adds a lot of diversity to a trip and really allows you the opportunity to see and experience some things that on a traditional turkey hunt, you wouldn't be able to do. Did you get one? Fish on! Yeah! So this is what we're after here. This is red tail perch. Having got a few sea perch, I was anxious to get back to the blind to resume my hunt for a long beard. Right away, we have our first Tom gobbling. Is he still coming? Yeah, he's still coming. Big 
until he turns and clears that decoy. This was a turkey hunt that I will never forget. Not only did I harvest one of my largest turkeys, but I made memories and shared laughs with my family and friends. For me, this is what springtime in Oregon is all about. Yeah. Some hands yeah. coming at you. There's some... No gooders. No. 